All right, fellas, grab a seat, because we're diving into the mind of the modern man dealing with the madness of relationships. So, here's the deal. A bunch of guys out there are hoisting the solo life flag, dodging relationships like they're dodging landmines. Why? Because they're not finding any diamonds in the rough. They're scanning the scene, thinking, are there any decent women left in this world? It's like a wild expedition. And these dudes ain't taking the risk. And don't even get me started on trust issues. Those sweet and kind angels you thought you had in your corner. Nah, they're just playing a role, and you're left with a truckload of trust issues. No wonder guys are hesitant to roll the dice. Being solo is looking pretty damn good compared to dealing with someone who's about to flip the script on you. But hold up. I'm not here to bash all relationships. If you stumble upon a unicorn, a girl who's got her act together, I'm all for it. I ain't hating on women. I'm just saying finding a legit one is like finding a needle in a haystack. Now, let's talk about that one type of woman that might make you reconsider your solo mission. Brace yourselves, fellas, because this ain't your everyday Tinder date. We're talking about a rare breed that aligns with your future values, shares your thinking, and could potentially change the game for you. But here's the kicker, the danger zone. Many out there are just wolves in sheep's clothing, pretending to be on your wavelength when, in reality, they're on a whole different frequency. It's a mind game, and you gotta be on your A game to avoid getting played. So, if you're a mature dude, diving into the spiritual and psychological realms, you get it. You've asked yourself, what the hell do I want from life? And if, by some cosmic alignment, you stumble upon a woman whose values sync up perfectly with yours, well, you might just have hit the jackpot. But stay sharp, guys. Deception is lurking around every corner, and not everyone is what they seem. Assessing a woman ain't just about ticking off values on a checklist. We're peeling back the layers, exploring her spiritual realm. Let's get one thing straight. If you're on the Jesus Christ train, she better be riding shotgun. Allah is your co-pilot? Well, guess what? She should be in the same cockpit. Spiritual alignment is the name of the game, fellas. And don't even think about forcing your beliefs down her throat. If you're all about that Jesus life, you can't play the preacher on your girlfriend. First, you gotta see that spark of spiritual interest in her. It's not about conversion. It's about shared beliefs. Now, let's talk about the real MVPs, the worthy women. They're not out here playing games, hanging on your neck for a quick thrill. Nah, they're in it for the long haul, serious about relationships. They're not spouting the I'll think about it nonsense after a night between the sheets. Let's keep it real. A woman who's getting down and dirty with you and then hitting you with the I'll think about serious relationships line. Red flags, my friends. That's not a serious player. That's a wild card with loose morals. And here's the old school truth. If she's spiritually pure and educated, she's not jumping into the sack before marriage or some consecration ceremony. She's laying it out straight. Commitment first, intimacy second. Call me old-fashioned, but rushing things in the past. It ended in a symphony of sadness every single time. Let's drop some truth bombs here. Laws, they mean squat if there ain't something spiritual and divine backing them up. And when it comes to breaking that solo life, the only women worth your time are the ones who are in it for the long haul, not just contemplating the idea. Doubts from the get-go? Buckle up, my friends, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Fellas, we're hitting the real talk on relationships. No sugarcoating, no fluff. If you ain't 100% sure about locking it down for a lifetime with a girl, don't mess with her head. It's about being real from the jump. Now, let's dive into the practical side of things. You might have a faithful, spiritually developed woman on your hands, but if she's not ready to put in work for the relationship, you're in for a reality check. In this day and age, you've got women out here looking for an easy ride, seeking pleasure and happiness from a man's wallet. You start raking in the dough, suddenly every girl's your best friend, cozying up to you for that financial security. But here's the truth, fellas. If you're not rolling in the green, and you're on the lookout for a partner, find one who's ready to hustle with you to build something solid. Relationships ain't a one-man show. If she's talking about love and creating a strong bond, those words better be backed up by actions. 
She should be down to find a job or at least lend a hand where you need it. Picture this. You walk into a home where everything's on point. The house is tidy. The aroma of home-cooked food fills the air, and your wife's got a smile that lights up the room. That's the dream, right? But let's face it. In 90% of cases, reality falls short. Usually you come home, and instead of the warm fuzzies, you're hit with a barrage of reproaches. The food, terrible, cooked without an ounce of love just to get it done. So, fellas, a woman worth your time needs to bring diligence and effort to the table. If she's genuinely about building a future with you, it's gotta come from the heart. None of that half-hearted stuff. She should be genuinely happy for you, and it won't get old. All right, folks, let's break it down one last time, no-nonsense style. We've navigated the relationship maze, and it's time for some cold, hard conclusions. Number one, strap in for this truth bomb. The strongest relationships are rooted in spirituality. If there ain't a hint of God in the mix, you're setting yourself up for a crash and burn. Physical desires alone, or a girlfriend chasing some vague idea of love without substance? Yeah, that's a one-way ticket to disaster. Moving on to point two. A real woman ain't spilling all the tea from the get-go. She's shutting down the premarital bedroom Olympics. No sex before marriage or some holy ceremony. That's the code. Point three. She's not about that casual living together game. No cohabitation circus before locking it down in marriage. Serious relationships or nothing. Now, on to the spiritual wavelength. Your views on the world better sync up. If you're staring at life through different lenses, it's a recipe for disaster. And here's the clincher. She's not just talking the talk, she's walking the walk. She's putting in the effort, investing her time and resources because you're her ride or die. If love ain't the driving force, she ain't lifting a finger. And here's the kicker. All these points? They better be wrapped up in one woman. If even one is missing, there's no point disrupting your solo life. Trust me, other types of women, miles away from spirituality and true love, will just drain you dry. So, there you have it, folks. Pay attention, stay sharp, and thanks for tuning in. Until next time, keep it real.